having a relaxing day today if my voice sounds weird it's because i'm on the verge of losing my voice i've been sick for the last several days and i have wanted to vlog so bad i feel like i might be getting a little bit better today which is why i wanted to vlog <clears throat> but if my voice gets too bad i will not um i won't do this to you guys for the whole video because this is painful to listen to i'm sure but i actually feel like i'm a little bit better today i took mucinex this morning because it's really deep in my chest, but like mentally and physically, I feel a little bit better, but I don't sound great. Um, but yeah, I've been having a relaxing morning. It's actually the first day of 2023. So that's pretty exciting. Sorry to tell you this trooper, but you're gonna have to get up because you're a stinky pup and you need a bath. He needs a bath so bad. suck i did not vlog pretty much anything yesterday like i was supposed to um yeah no explanation needed i think you guys know that things have just been different for me these days but it is the next day in the evening and i didn't vlog today because i was with callie But I'm sitting here stirring up some more henna. I just did my brows, so they look super dark right now, but once I wipe it away, they'll lighten up a little bit. But I am um, tinting my eyebrows, and then I thought just for fun, because I have some of this left, I'll mix the rest of it and attempt to do faux freckles. Why not? If it turns out terrible, I'll scrub it off and cover it with makeup. Lost a nail yesterday too. I need to redo them. They're kind of grown out now. Okay. Here's what they look like. We're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and I actually have to go rinse off my eyebrows. Okay. Here's the finishing touch for the eyebrows. Here's what they look like. I think they look pretty good. Shower and I did my makeup. I'm about to do my hair and I thought I would do a little after shower hair care routine video. I used to always only shower at night so I never had to deal with drying my hair but lately I feel like I've always been doing showers in the morning so then I have to do something with my hair obviously because I'm not gonna just leave it like this um and it's actually cold out today so I definitely want to dry my hair we're all freezing so I just brushed it out and put some of the daily provision in by Kenra this is um this is just a leave-in conditioner and then this is the blow dry spray that I use it's by Kristen S it's actually almost out I need to get more but I really like this it also has heat protectant in it Now we're gonna try out the Revlon One Step Blowout Curls. This was sent to me and I'm very excited to try it out because it's supposed to give you like that blowout look, kind of like the Dyson Airwrap does, but you know, 
I ain't got money to be spending on the Dyson Air right now. So, it actually looks like a curling iron, but it has just air through it. Like, it's just air. Okay, I'm really excited about this. So, shout out to Revlon. I will link this in the description because I have a feeling this is going to be the next big rave. Like, first it was this thing, which I absolutely love, the blow dry brush. This could give me a little blowout. So I was using that initially just to get my hair a little bit dry because when it's wet, it's like so heavy and I just know that this thing won't work. Plus it's like damp, not like sopping wet, you know? So the root drying concentrator, that's that attachment. And then, so let's do the root dry thing first. roots are pretty much dry now so we are going to, to push down on this and then release it attach this one i love you good you. luck today thank you now we're gonna attempt this this is a really cool concept so i'm pretty excited <laughs> Here's the update it does like really soft little curls which i feel like is pretty similar to what the dyson air wrap does so i am going to do the rest of my hair and then see what it looks like but you can see it's like little soft kind of curls i just got dressed here's how my hair turned out i feel like this isn't a great idea of what can be done with it because i was kind of rushing and i also need a little bit of practice um, styling in that way because i don't have like an air wrap and i'm not used to trying to put curls in my hair when they're wet like this so it just kind of like it's pretty loose i could have used some product and made it a little bit better but either way for a like pretty simple hairstyle i think this is really cool and it's a lot less damaging than actually using like a curling iron <laughs> very interesting day it has been you guys it's literally eight o'clock like i can't make this up this is my life lately like i want to vlog i want to do a typical day in my life and show you guys what i'm doing but like my brain is messed up like i literally just focus in on what i'm working on and then the day is over like i like zone out almost and like forget and then i'm like i'll tell myself i'm gonna pick up my camera and like show them what i'm working on and then like the day is gone by the time i realize it so i don't have an explanation for this but um chad's on his way home and he's bringing pizza because it's friday night so we're gonna have pizza and it's cold out so we're probably gonna use our fire table tonight and go sit out by the fire so I'm really looking forward to that. Sorry I didn't show you guys what I've been working on. I do have a really exciting announcement to make though at some point. Um, probably tell you guys about it tomorrow. Yum. This is why I married Chad. <laughs> I'm at Target right now getting Alyssa a birthday card and a gift. Her birthday is on the 14th, so I gotta find her a little gift. She was so sweet. She sent me a ton of gift cards because she's in Kentucky now. So we like never see each other, which is so sad, but we talk on the phone a lot. But I miss her so much and she's engaged now and she's wedding planning, which is exciting because I've already gone through that whole process. So I'm like excited to help her with it. Um, but yeah, I can't talk and search for what I'm looking for. Okay, we are back from Target and I need to get Alyssa's gift sent out today. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got her though. Hopefully this is good. I think she's gonna love it. First of all, can we take a minute to appreciate the card? She has two cats. So I just love this. Let's get this party started right now. It just says happy birthday inside. And it's by Minted, which I love. They're the ones who I worked with on all of my wedding invitations. So 
And then I just got her a Starbucks gift card because we both love Starbucks. And then I got her this trio of Toka perfumes. I actually have the full size version of the pink one, Cleopatra. And I love it. Like it smells so good. I love this brand for fragrances. So I found this little trio and I thought this was perfect. And then I also found this really cute cup at Target. It's like tortoise. It's just a hot coffee cup. So well, that's her birthday present. So I'm gonna put that in a box and get it in the mail today. The other thing I found at Target that I'm pretty excited about is this organization system. It's basically just a whiteboard. I was really just looking for a calendar for 2023. We always keep one in our kitchen for Chad and I to kind of just like write things down on. So we remember when to give Trooper his like heart guard, next guard, any events or changes in work schedules, just things like that. But I thought instead of using a paper one, I would switch over to a dry erase system. And I liked this one because it actually comes with these other two whiteboards too. So this one's for like making lists. So I'm gonna use this for to-do lists and then this side just for like little notes or something. Um, I also really like it because this part's magnetic and then it has push pins right at the bottom. So if you wanna like stick anything to it, like if you have tickets for something coming up or a bill that you wanna remember to pay, just like anything like that. And then I also found these just like along with it. Um, I thought this was cool. Like, do you see this? All these little magnets that go along with it and then some extra dry erase markers. So hopefully Chad likes the new system. o'clock now and I am about to read and go to sleep. I've been playing Call of Duty with Sarah, Jennifer, and Christian for like the last several hours which was so fun because I haven't played video games since like before Christmas so that was nice um, but I want to show you guys the book that I'm currently reading. It's called The Housemaid. This book is so good. I actually found out about it from like a Facebook group for psychological thrillers and I don't even know like how far I am in it but I just like already really really like the book. And it's kind of nice to read, oh, my battery's low. It's kind of nice to read a book that's not um, a Colleen Hoover book because I just feel like it's different. Like I need to switch up the authors more often. But yeah, I'm 58% through and it is getting really good. Good morning, guys. I'm sitting at my desk right now printing off all of the packing slips. I don't think I said it in the vlog, but I did like a big sale on Sunstyled. Obviously, you guys have already seen this by the time this vlog goes up. Um, and I got a ton of orders and it feels so good because it was so stagnant for so long because of me not doing anything with it But I did a massive sale so that I can get rid of all this inventory so we can hopefully introduce new stuff um, So thank you to everyone who placed an order. I'm going to pack all of your orders up today I got to print off all the packing slips and the labels We are at Costco right now, actually looking for these shrimp bowl things that we got a while back that were so good. This was years ago. And I wanted to see if they still had them because I was thinking about it. And I felt like it might be a good little treat for like a lunch or something. Oh, I feel like we're getting close. I see shrimp. They were like rice bowls with shrimp in them and like it was like lime and garlic flavored or something. They were so good. We are out of Costco and this is gonna sound really dumb. You're either gonna perfectly understand what I'm trying to say or you're not gonna get it at all. But Chad made me push the cart while we were in Costco because I have this fear that makes absolutely no sense where I'm just like afraid to push the cart. It's not really even just the cart. It's more like navigating the grocery store by myself. And if he's pushing the cart, then he's in charge for like where we're going and I can just mindlessly follow. But when I push the car, I have to actually pay attention. Oops, he's trying to get in. Um, and so I, you know, pushed the car while we were in there. And it was very, very stressful because Costco is always packed. And I'm like trying to navigate without running into people. But my therapist wants me to get over my... I'm not her therapist, by the way. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> he just supports my therapist in trying to get over my fear of like being in very crowded spaces like that. And having to be dependent because I 
I'm kind of like dependent on Chad in those situations. I'm not very independent. So I'm trying to become more independent in those situations and push the cart and do the grocery shopping by myself and embrace it and be around people and not feel super anxious. So it's a big step for me. How did I do? Mine is panicking because there were people like about to run into me and the guy pushing all the carts. You did okay. I didn't do that good. That was kind of scary. <laughs> At my storage unit, got my new box thing. Chad went back home. He's going to get changed and go to a workout class. Something I really should have done today, but I didn't. So, oh well. I guess. <laughs> guess we'll have to revisit the whole working out thing again tomorrow. Every time I come in here, I'm like, let's hope I don't get abducted. I mean, during the day, it's actually not that bad. It's at night. My hair is just in my mouth right now. Love that. I just realized, I literally forgot. I have no idea what to pack unless I have the packing slips. Okay, we have a lot of orders to pack. Okay, I'm back home from packing orders. That took way longer than I anticipated. I was there for several hours. I mean, I had a lot of orders to pack, but I feel like because I don't have those like massive, you know, like over 20 orders to pack at a time anymore, I like wasn't in rhythm to like do it really quick like I used to be, but got that all done. Also dropped them off at the post office. So that's taken care of. And now I'm really excited because I want to show you guys my planner. Okay. So here's a little look at the dashboard planner that I've been working on for a while. This is what the monthly view looks like. It's meant to be like very digital looking. So you can switch through the months like that, but this one's a lot different than any of the other undated planners that I've done because you can just like click a button and go to that week and, and then that goes back to the month and then the beauty of this like just one other added thing is it's sectioned out by the weeks and then this little button here actually takes you to the hourly view which is awesome if you like to time block and i'm naming it the dashboard planner because there is a little home button that takes you to this spot where you can access all of these different templates i included all of these in this one so it really should have everything you need. I even made sections for add-on templates if you want to purchase them from the shop and then custom sections if you just want to make custom sections for notes, journaling, work-related things, whatever it may be. This is a little look at the year at a glance, important dates. So if you want to just write down all the birthdays and holidays, things like that. I put a quarter planner for each of the quarters. So this is really nice if you like to organize your life by the quarter. And then of course, grid paper for all of the people who love a little bit of grid paper in case you want to bullet journal or something like that. I also made these journaling pages because I'm trying to get better about journaling and I put a little spot for a photo that way if there was some kind of a photo of that day that you wanna remember, you can paste it in there. Tons of blank pages, of course. A sticker organizer in case you wanna add in stickers that you had bought previously from other planners or companies, maybe you even made your own. There's a goal planning section. And then a spot for meeting notes, shopping list. I tried to make all of this very, very minimal and basic looking. That way you can use colors and stickers, widgets to kind of spice it up to your liking. Meal planner. We have project planning. Each of these custom sections is fully clickable, so it'll bring you to whatever that section may be once you organize it. And then these buttons up here bring you to note paper for all of the note takers out there. We have a monthly budget, which is awesome. I actually made this a lot more detailed than I have in any of my other planners, so you can track your savings. 
debt and then break it down into a whole summary for the month. This is a monthly habit tracker. And then something I'm most proud of that took me a long freaking time are all of these widgets. So you can add these in anywhere in the planner. They're fully pre-cropped, which is so nice. You just grab them, copy and paste them wherever you want, and then this will also include a widget page because it's a lot easier in GoodNotes to have it separate. So whenever you purchase the planner, this is going to come with both of these pages as well. So you can just have it in a separate tab so it's easier than having to navigate through the planner. And then lastly, a nice looking to-do list because this is just how my brain works. I like to have a checklist. This is a nice free space area and then a little grid area as well. And that is everything that is in the dashboard planner. I'm going to link it in the description if you guys want to check it out. My shop is now on Etsy and my other digital products are in there as well. It's actually in season now, my cup that I got last year. I got this last year as my favorite wine glass. Not because it says XOXO or the fact that this is red or anything. It's literally just because it's a stemless wine glass with a silicone thing that prevents it from sounding really loud every time I sit it down. And also just like protects it so I can like just like when I'm gaming, like take a sip and just like drop it and I don't have to worry about it like breaking or something. It's uh, not delicate. It's meant for someone like me. Um, anyways, I'm gonna check my blood pressure. Chad said I should and it's something that I do now because when I switched up medications a while back, my blood pressure was high and so they wanted me to monitor it, but it's been pretty much normal for a few months now. I think it was just when I first got started on the medication. But you know, we still check it and I record it in my health app on my phone. One twenty five over eighty two, not bad. Last time it was one nineteen over twenty five. Just got a package from Case to Five, no idea what this is, but Let's find out together. Also, I'm getting my new phone tomorrow, Chad. They emailed me. Tomorrow? FedEx, tomorrow. I submitted my claim, because remember how I told you guys that my, um, the whole back screen, I don't even know where my phone is, um, shattered. Well, this is perfect timing to get new cases. I'm getting my new phone tomorrow. It's still a 13, because I just used our insurance through AT&T, so, um, yeah. Oh my god, this is Christmas, and I didn't get it in time. It's a phone charm. It's okay, I'll use it next year. This is so cute. A little late, but... Oh, these are going to be Christmas, aren't they? Oh, no, 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 there's some other stuff. They're actually all phone charms. we got this one, classic pearl phone charm. I was hoping it was going to be a new case, but that's okay. Rainbow pearl charm. These are so cute. These are like the new thing. Everybody's got these phone charms. Which I was like into a while back. I was like making them a year or two ago. But anyway, yeah, my new phone's coming in tomorrow. But for some reason, they're sending me a gold one. And my current one's silver, so I don't know why. But I'm okay with it. Uh, I kind of feel like it'll make it feel new to me. Because it's a different color. <laughs> we are having tacos for dinner tonight. Some rice. And beans. These go in the oven get toasted. I have to really quick show you guys the most exciting PR package that I have ever gotten. This is from Drunk Elephant, you guys. They literally sent me an entire freaking cooler. And this is like really nice. It has like a bottle opener. It's kind of like a Yeti almost, but, um, and it has like this big carrying thing. It's the perfect size to like take to the beach or whatever occasion, honestly. It's really nice. I love the color. Definitely gets me excited for spring and summer or really any time of the year because let's be honest, I live in Florida and it's freaking hot here. But they just sent me everything and I actually haven't tried a whole lot of Drunk Elephant. It's just a brand I haven't experimented with but I always hear about it and it has so many good reviews. Like everyone loves Drunk Elephant. So I'm really excited. I've only ever tried one thing from them and it was a birthday gift from Sephora and I remember really liking it. I don't know why I never repurchased it. But they sent over their jelly cleanser, so I know this is really popular. We've got like a bunch of different oils and stuff, the miracle butter, this is their day serum, intensive hydration serum, water facial balm, polypeptide cream, a night serum, melting butter cleanser, that sounds awesome. 
TLC baby facial. And then we got little samples of some of this other stuff. This one's an eye cream. I mean, we've got like all the goods to try. So I am really stoked to try out all of this stuff. Thank you so much to Drunk Elephant. I will link this in the description. You guys can actually buy this whole thing. Yes, and including the actual cooler itself. I think they call it the Drunk Elephant trunk and it like comes with all this stuff. So I'll leave a link in the description. And thank you so much to Drunk Elephant. I can't wait to try all this. <laughs>